Now, while I'm on productivity, let's talk about working from home. Before the pandemic, a lot of us, me included, had never heard of Zoom, never used it. Now it's all Zoom and Skype and Microsoft Teams and FaceTime and all the rest of it, and working from home has become the norm. Now, as we've discussed on this program many times, businesses are struggling to get people back to the office. They're demanding people come back for a couple of days a week and staff are resisting big time. The Federal Public Service have pretty much won the battle here. They've won a preferred right to work from home. And there was an interesting case today reported where the Fair Work Commission upheld an insurance company's decision to sack a worker who was missing deadlines and meetings working from home. The company monitored the workers' online keypad activity and found, for instance, that in one month, November, there were 143 working hours when there were zero keystrokes on her computer. Zero. Didn't even touch her computer. You'd think you'd jump out of the pool occasionally and send an email, wouldn't you? Now, the funniest or most ironic take on this now has happened overnight, and that is that Zoom, yes, the company Zoom, is trying to get its staff to come back to the office. Yep, Zoom has had enough of doing business by Zoom. We believe that a structured hybrid approach, meaning employees that live near an office, need to be on site two days a week to interact with their teams. It's most effective for Zoom, the company says. That is most effective for Zoom, the company operation, rather than for Zoom, the app, if you know what I mean. If Zoom can see the value of turning up, I think it's time for most people to get out of their rug boots for at least a couple of days a week.